Hi guys, I'm Maniacal Red Panda, and welcome to It's a Big World Out There. And please excuse me if I sniffle a little bit in this video. I have a little cold. But if you're wondering, no, we are not Nevermind. We're in a new mod pack from Technic. And it's because Nevermind just refused to let me play. Every time I tried to click it, it would say failed and to contact the mod pack author. So perhaps It's a Big World Out There is going to be where we stay. And I've got a lot planned for us to do today, so let's get going. So this is the little house I made when I first came to this world to give myself some shelter. And inside, we have a dog! I found him when I started this world, so I had to get him. And I've taken everything I wanted from the chest, so we're going to go to our new home! <laughs> it's better and bigger and amazing and I took our crops that I planted before in this video I just had everything set up ready to move and to start off our first episode in our awesome house it's right over here Ta -da! <laughs> I did build it in creative mode but I think that it was worth it because it's gorgeous I made it all out of materials that I could find around here, so. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? We do also have a little farm. I've got some sheep and some cows that I found around the area so that we can do even more stuff with our mods and, you know, eat. <laughs> all right, let's go inside. Come on, pup. You can do it. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so here's the inside. We don't have a lot right now, because I'm going to collect it on the way and decorate as we go. I've just got a little bed and some magic things from witchery and thumbcraft, which is what we're going to be doing today. So, I was thinking that we could do thumbcraft first, but I would like my magic helper, magic pup, Magic Pup? Hey. <laughs> I don't really have a name for him. I've been calling him Magic Pup because he can be my magical assistant. Besides magic in this mod pack, though, there are a bunch of dungeons just like the last one. So we've got magic and dungeons, and it'll be amazing. Please. One moment. <laughs> Magic Pup's just probably not feeling it today. Like, look, look at that face. He's like, it's raining. Why are we doing this now? But <laughs> don't worry, Magic Pup. It'll be awesome. I don't think it's raining anymore, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so first off, we're going to make one of these tables because we'll need one more. So you go like this. I do a lot in my inventory. I want to empty a little bit real quick. As you see... I've got this silver wood and some fun things because there's this beautiful, magical forest nearby that I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm going to empty out my pockets and then I'll be right back. So, the first thing you're going to do with Thumbcraft is you need to make those tables and you need to make a wand. So let's go ahead and make the tables. Get our slabs. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's like this, and like this, yeah. Alright, so now that we've got our table, I'm just going to put it right here. And we need to make our arcane workbench, but you're going to need a magical wand to do that. So let's make our magic wand. You're going to need iron. If you put iron in the crafting table, you get these little ingots. And if you use the ingots to make a helmet shape, you're going to get an iron cap, which are the two caps for your wand. And you'll put a stick and your iron caps, and then bam, you got a wand. <laughs> and then you use your super magic, right magic bup, and you right click, and ta-da! <laughs> 
I haven't played much around with the arcane workbench yet, so I'm not sure what all you can make in it. I think that's where you do... I'm pretty sure that's where you do, like... You make the crucible and alchemy stuff, maybe. We'll see. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay, so next, we're going to turn this into our research bench. It's a little leaky in here. <laughs> but to make your research bench, you're going to need scrying tools. So you need an ink sack and a feather... And something else. That's not just it. Uh, <laughs> two seconds. Duh, you need a glass jar. Let's make us some bottles. Because your ink's got to be able to go in something. It just can't stay in the ink sack. And you've got your scribing tools. You just right click on the table. And you've got your nice research bench now. Okay, so next I'm going to make us a Vama meter. You're going to need two gold, any of these shards will do, and some glass. So it's not that expensive. I think you need to do this like this. There we go. <laughs> and then we can go and scan things. I know that some of the first things you can scan are torches and a bowl. Okay, I've scanned a little bit of things, and it still records what I've scanned, which is really awesome. Can I scan these now? I need to study plants. We will study plants momentarily. I would like to get some more wheat from our farm, and we can go ahead and look at what we have for witchery. And we can battle some things. Which I'm not sure if that's going to be a really good idea. I think I need some fences up here. I'll be right back with some fences because when you hit these, a little monster pops out that you need to fight. And I don't want it to just fall off the roof. So I fenced in the area so that these little mandrake monsters can't escape. And you get these plants by hitting grass. And, you know, when you hit grass, you get wheat seeds. You'll also get these as well. And you'll get mandrake seeds, water artichoke seeds, snowbell, and belladonna. And hopefully wolfsbane. I haven't seen any wolfsbane seeds yet. But one day. And one day belladonna. Like, they're being so rare, and I don't know why. But let's go. We're going to fight these little guys. Here we go. Wish me luck. Yeah. Oh. What? But, but, what? Okay, why? I don't, I don't understand. It's just giving me them. I don't know what happened. What's going on? <laughs> Usually a little monster pops out and you gotta fight it when you hit him. Maybe I'll do it with my bare hand next time. And that'll be better. So we've got the morph mod on here. And I think that we do have the little mandrakes. Yeah, they're these little guys. I'll show you what they look like, at least. They're kind of cute. They remind me of Harry Potter. Like, look at him. They're supposed to run out and scream and attack you. <laughs> look at our little mandrake hand. Rah. It's so weird. So yeah, you just hit them and they're supposed to give you stuff. Do I not have my hoe on me? To get the mandrakes though, you're usually supposed to fight these little guys. I don't know why it didn't work. Why? They're kind of fast, this little dude. They're really fast when they run around you and they cause nausea. Every time I've hit a mandrake plant, that's happened to me and a little dude's popped out. And I've had to fight him. I don't know. But we won't let that get us down. And we're going to keep on going. <laughs> I'm going to turn into my other self. My real self. There we go. Much better. I like being taller. Okay. Let's go down and do some more stuff. Since we do need to study plants. Let's try to get some with our... Thumbometer. Let me see if I can study seeds because it seems like that should be 
the next place to go, right? Study plants, sources of life. I know I can't study crops. Hmm. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> okay. I think I just need to, you know what I really need to do? I need to go onto the, this table and do stuff. Here, I'm going to show you some things real quick. So, it keeps telling me that I need to study life. To make life, you put Terra and water, and you get life. So we should be able to study a lot more things now. Let's go try again. A lot of the times it's just easier if you go into your research table and make stuff. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. There we go. So now we should be able to start scanning a bunch of stuff. Yay! Yeah, that's all we needed. I think fences, you need people. Woohoo. I'll bet you we could study clay. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. Now we can study a bunch of stuff. Can I study a trapdoor right now? Because that would be nice. Yes! So movement is a really hard one to get. But trap doors will always give you movement. And you need movement to be able to study people. Can I study you now? I can! All right! So now we can make people. To make people, you do... No, you don't. I need brain. I need the mind. I need to figure out how to make the mind. But yeah, we've already got a beast. So you need movement to get beast. And it took me a long time to find this trapdoor that it gives you movement that's so cool all right let's go ahead and do our witchery stuff real quick i'm gonna throw this in there do need this right now ah delicious okay <laughs> okay we're gonna do our witchery stuff so, the first thing you need to do with witchery is you need to make your witch's oven. To do that, you need some iron bars, you need some iron ingots, and you need a bucket, but not a bucket of water. I already have a witch's oven, so I'm just going to show you how to make one. And like this, so then you get one. I'm sure I won't let you do it if it's full of water, <laughs> but that's how you make one. So now that we have our witch's oven, we need some saplings, and we need some bottles. To make the bottles that you need for witchery, you got to get some clay, and you do it in this kind of shape, and you'll get four soft clay jars, and then you throw them into the furnace, and they'll bake so you can put them in your oven. We're going to be smelting a lot of saplings, which I'm going to go and grab some real quick because I don't think I have any right now, so I'll be right back. So we've got some saplings, so now we can pop them in the oven and see what we get. I know the most important ones we need right now are spruce. So you're going to cook them and you're going to get wood ash over here. And every so often, I think usually every five or so, you're going to get one of these special jars over here. I've gotten a little bit of them. There are these. These come from... I'm pretty sure these come from the um, spruce saplings. You get Hint of Rebirth. From each of these, you're going to get a different kind of this. Which, they're kind of like breaths. Like, birch sapling is Breath of the Goddess, and oak sapling is Breath of the Horned One. So it's like you're getting the essence or the breath of the trees. It's pretty cool. So now we're going to make another very crucial part of witchery. For this, you're going to need one hint of rebirth, one egg, you'll need some of our mandrake roots, some cactus, some bone meal, and some wood ash. You're going to go to the crafting table. And you're going to do, I'm pretty sure you do this, 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 and this, and then this, 
And then this. Let's switch it around a little bit. Like this, like this, like this. Come on. Okay, okay, two seconds, two seconds. My bad, the egg is in the middle. Ta-da! So, this is what you gotta do to be able to get this stuff, which is super important. So I'm going to see if I could get one more. Yeah, I'll be able to get one more. Whoop, yeah, I need that. And cactus, wood ash, and then bam, got 16, which is wonderful. I think that you could get everything we need with eight if you get kind of lucky. Can put some things away. Okay. So let's see if we've gotten anything in our oven. Yeah, we've got this hint of rebirth. I'm going to go ahead and throw some other things in here. And we can go try out our new bone meal. Do you want to come with this magic belt? So what you got to do is you find some grass. And you're going to get your mutain disc. And right click on that grass. And you'll get magical plants. Ooh, we need this actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't have my shears on me. Alright, so with plants like this, if you get anything other than a sapling, you're going to need your shears to be able to collect it. Oh, careful, magic pup. This stuff is ember moss. You're going to need a lot of grass. So let's right click. Mushroom. Um, no. 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 Is this? I don't. Let's see what this is. What are you? Oh, a jungle sapling. That's pretty cool. What you're supposed to get are these trees. <laughs> Not those trees. These trees. This is one of the magical trees, I believe. This is... This is ash. And that's hawthorn. And the third one you need is rowan, which I don't have quite yet. So maybe you do need a, quite a lot of mutantus to be able to get everything. Because I am not having a good time trying to find everything. Well, we got some moss out of it. I'm going to have to try really hard to get um, the last tree we need. But once you get these, you can plant them and you'll always have saplings. And you need those saplings to be able to go to the next step in Witch Tree. To make even more... Ah! To make even more breaths and things. And witchery one day will be able to do really cool stuff, like make altars. I heard there's some kind of way that you can turn into a lycanthrope or a vampire, which will be really cool. So we'll be able to choose our path of destiny magic pup, and we'll become a vampire or a werewolf, which will be cool. I'm thinking of werewolf, so me and magic pup can run through the land as wolves together. <laughs> Well, but that's going to be about the end for this first episode. And next time we're going to come back and I might have some magic things ready for us already so that we can make some really cool things. And we're definitely going to go explore one of the dungeons. But right before we go off, I'm going to show you guys the magical forest. I don't think that I want to take magic pup because I've gone to the forest before and it's night. We're going to go anyways, but Magic Pup, you're going to stay inside. I don't know, it's night. For the spirit of adventure, we are going to go outside at night, Magic Pup. Not you, just me. Come on, boy. You need to stay inside. Magic Pup. Magic Pup. Teleport. Ugh. Are you really going to get stopped by a trapdoor magic pup? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, you, you just stay there. I'll come back for you. You'll be okay. Alright. We're going into the unknown. Into probably certain death. 
you know, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want to lose everything. And if you don't know this little command, you will now. Because <laughs> I don't want to die in the magical forest and lose everything. This is what happened the last time I was in the magical forest. I'm glad I didn't take my dog out here. He probably would have charged in after the piranhas and died. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. No. 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 I'm going to die. I'm going to die, guys. I'm sorry. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I've died. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Escaping for life. No, I was gonna jump into the water. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. My death point. Here we go. That witch. Skeleton. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna jump this time. Nope, I tripped again. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy, hey, hey, hey witch, how are you? I don't care about the cobblestone, I'm leaving. I'm getting out. No, skeleton, stay away, skeleton, I'm trapped. But we're not afraid of the dark. Because we've got weapons and armor. And I gave myself a cactus because I don't think I'm near a desert. Do, 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 do. Nice. Okay, let's go to the magical forest. Which I'm wondering if it's lucky that we spawned next to you. Isn't it pretty? I love it. It's so gorgeous. I want to build something in here just because it's so pretty. This is where I found the silverwood trees from. And there are a bunch of mushrooms and zombies. And you can get these mana plants here. So if we run out of mana... For our spells, we can just grab these and eat them. It's so pretty. There are these cobblestone things. It's like old structures used to be here. And there are a lot of mobs. Fight to miss. Fight. Ooh, we got a bow. Nice. Did we not pick up that string? Because I would like that string. Ooh, there's a cave down here. Well, I think that that's good enough with the magic forest for now. We're going to go home before we die. <laughs> but it's really pretty, and I really would love to build something, which I will eventually, definitely. We could build somewhere like a magic tower for witchery. And I was really thinking about building this underground lair for Thomcraft. I want to do an underground forest with vines and glowstone and things, which I think would be really pretty. That didn't go half as bad as I thought that it would. <laughs> We're home alive. Whoa. <laughs> so that is definitely the end of this episode. I hope that you really enjoyed it and that you found the magic key stuff useful. <laughs> Next time we're going to go into a dungeon and I'll have some more magic stuff ready to show you guys so we can just show it off and see how cool that it is. <laughs> I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope that you like this place that I picked for us to live. I think that it's really gorgeous and I think that it's going to be really fun doing this series. I can't wait to go fight some monsters and battle some awesome bad guys with you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. I'm Nyko Red Panda, and this is Magic Pup. Bye. It's been really great. This is, it's a big world out there. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>